Hello there YouTube, Devin here again. Uh, today I have something very, very cool to show you. Uh, it is a 1951 pattern uh, first aid kit from the Korean War. Uh, this one came with a bunch of goodies. Um, it's, I'm told, 1953. Uh, I haven't even opened this yet, so I don't know what's in it either. Uh, so we'll have a nice, cool learning experience together about what's actually inside of it. I don't know if it's period correct to the 50s. Oh, or not, because the pattern fifty, the Canadian pattern fifty one gear was used for a very long time after the fifties, uh, basically into the eighties, from what I'm told. Um, but it looks like it's kind of standard. You could carry it as a shoulder bag. Uh, it is reinforced. It has either like plastic or wood in it um, stuff to keep the contents uh, safe. Uh, looks like it has belt loops uh, and a little clip to lock it into the pattern fifty one belt to keep it from moving around and sliding uh, very faded says Canada there uh, I bought this one over the other one the guy had because this one had the very nice stencil still on it the other one was kind of faded uh, from use um, but without further ado we'll get into it um, single snap closure uh, 1953 there's the acceptance mark and the manufacturer's mark uh, up there so you guys can hopefully uh, see that both of those there uh, we'll get into what's in here now um, I'm expecting this to be a pretty standard of the time. Uh, liquid and powder instant foot relief, Absorbing Junior. Uh, so we'll uh, flip. I haven't seen one of these before, um, but we'll uh, I'll hold it up so you guys can see all of the uh, bits. You could just pause it at your uh, leisure to uh, read all of these. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I don't want to have the video uh, be way too long. Um, um, we'll get into that. Oh, a Johnson and Johnson compressed bandage. This really haven't these really haven't changed since World War II. Um, they basically it's just a giant bandage in here. Um, nothing super special. It's probably in wax paper underneath this cardboard. Uh, I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm not gonna open it. Oh, maybe I will. Just let you take a look at that. Be very gentle. I don't want to damage any of this history. Uh, there you go. You can see it there. All the little gauze, and it's in a piece of wax paper wrap to keep it waterproof because this cardboard box obviously would not keep it waterproof. Those haven't really changed since the 40s. Um, oh, these are cool. Uh, this is basically fast acting aspirin. Um, I've seen pictures of these, but I haven't ever actually had a, a packet. Um, so as you can see here, and uh, looks like all the tablets are intact even in there. That's nice. Um, what else we got? Uh, another Johnson & Johnson compressed bandage. This one's just a different size than the other one. Um, made in USA, probably in uh, New Jersey or Chicago. Um, this one's kind of in like a very waxy type paper, and it's very compressed, it feels like. Uh, so I don't know if there'd be wax paper under this or if it's just the bandage, but I'm not going to open it to find out. I haven't seen one of those yet either. I wonder if that's a... Ooh. We got a, oh, it looks broken, iodine case. Um, as you can see here, uh, this iodine would be uh, in this. Normally, this is a piece of plastic or glass. Uh, you see a lot of these. Uh, looks like it's kind of melted slightly. And uh, you would uh, break it, break the tip um, where this uh, little piece of paper has the red line. These are the same since World War II as well, this little red arrow here would be right where the tip of this is and you would break it and then you would shake it all down and you could use this to apply to the wound. This little kind of cotton sleeve would become saturated with iodine as you see here it is. It looks like this one broke uh, open. So um, I'll just take this off here and we'll uh, hold this up so you guys can read it if you guys want to read it, how to use these. Um, that's a shame. I have some of these that are intact though so I'll probably put one of these in there. Um, I really hope it didn't leak all over everything because I've seen those break before and they leak all over everything. Um, two inch by six yards sterilized god bandage by Acme Cotton Products of New York. Uh, this one is camouflaged. Uh, this box is sealed, it looks like, so I'm not going to open that. Uh, looks like it got some of the iodine on it too. Uh, cardboard box. Um, what else we got here? Ooh, we got bottles. Halazone tablets. Uh, these are for sterilizing water. You guys, I'll get that a little closer for you, and you can pause it and read it at your leisure. Uh, here's the other one, the instructions for use. Uh, those have been the same since World War II. 
Um, oh, I forgot these. I uh, pulled these out. These are just uh, looks like ass wipe or tissues. Uh, you could be using for any other type. They still make these for like traveling. I don't know if this brand is still in use, um, but you see it here. It looks like it's uh, the little perforation is torn, but it looks like they're all intact. So uh, there's there's that. There doesn't look like there's a whole lot to see on that one. Um, feel free to pause the video at any time to read any of this stuff. Oh, we got glycerin. Uh, this became very uh, common uh, in larger medical bags in World War II because uh, these help you shit, uh, as well as people with uh, heart problems and heart conditions and stuff like that. Glycerin is very good for that. Um, hold that up so you guys can see it. Um, HLH manufactured this one. Looks like there's nothing on the back. Uh, didn't evaporate. That one's very, very full. Um, so the seal must still be good on that one. Ooh, a little bottle of iodine. Uh, as you can see here, it looks like it has the little brush in there. So you can see that kind of plasticky bit sticking down. Uh, very poisonous. Um, iodine, though, very good for sterilizing wounds and things like that, especially if you have to cut into somebody. They still use iodine to this day for that. Um, this looks to be about a half ounce bottle. Um, this, as you can see, the half ounce to the one ounce bottle there. The glycerin's in a one ounce bottle. Um, uh, spirit of ammonia. I've never seen one of these before, too, but it looks like mild stimulant. Uh, looks like this is a shot of alcohol, basically. Um, I don't know how good it is drinking ammonia or whether there's any actual ammonia in this, but it looks like, uh, you're supposed to drink this. Uh, you could use this to, uh, inhale as well as, like, a aromatic to help wake people up, it looks like. Uh, according to the uh, instructions there. Um, ooh, we have a big muslin bandage. Ooh, iodine definitely got on this one. Uh, looks like the sticker came loose too. Sticker right here would be holding this shut on the end. Uh, same thing on this one. There you go. You can see the big round sticker. Um, five inches by five yards. Uh, New York, New York. Uh, it's just a giant compressed kind of log of bandage gauze. Um, is what that would be. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, first aid. Oh, I, lo I love manuals so much. Uh, all right, I'll pause this so you guys can read it. I'm not going to read it all on camera. I'll read it off camera and not bore the hell out of you guys. So, and we'll open it up all the way here for you guys to see. Turn it around here for you guys to see. All right, that's very cool. I like finding manuals and shit. Um, ooh, it looks like we're pretty much done. It's pretty empty feeling, it looks like. Um, oh, just Q-tips. These are just sealed Q-tips, not even labeled. Just That's pretty common. And that's all of it. As you can see, there's a big piece of uh, wool felt down there at the bottom. Uh, this whole thing is rigid. It's got something between the layers of canvas. Um, pretty neat black and brass hardware on it. Uh, the stencil's intact, the snap works, uh, everything on this seems to look like it's in order. Uh, I really, really like that. So hopefully you guys like this video. I uh, subscribe if you like this sort of thing. I do have a video coming on the Pattern uh, 51 gear by itself, the whole thing. Uh, this will be on it with all of its goodies inside. Um, if you have any questions on any of this stuff, feel free to leave that in the comments. I have a lot of this kind of medical stuff. I really like medical stuff, old medical stuff from the army. Um, I like seeing how much it's changed. This is a cool first aid kit. This would, this would be awesome to have if you were a soldier. I don't know how mass issued these were, if this was like an IFAC, or if this was just for like a medic would have this. Um, but I'm just trying to get one of all the 51 pattern pouches to go on my 51 gear just to say I have all of them. Uh, so... Hopefully somebody's got a haversack somewhere, because I'd really like a haversack. That seems to be the only piece I haven't been able to find. Um, but hopefully you guys like this video. You subscribe if you like this sort of thing. Uh, leave, leave any comments, questions, concerns, uh, suggestions for future videos down in the comments. I'm trying my best to not say um or stutter as much while I'm doing these videos. So hopefully you've noticed that in this video. I'm trying to not... Uh, do this as much as possible because this is something I know a lot more about so I don't have to stutter, stutter as much or say um because I'm not trying to process my thoughts. Uh, it's very easy to do research on these items as well so I'm very confident talking about these. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this sort of thing. This was a cool journey to open. I'm glad I could. 
and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.